Hello everybody, welcome to round 5 of the European and African Continental Championships 2021. It's round 5, we're up against Gio. I'm very sorry if I mispronounce your name. I'm not sure if it's maybe French. Can I, can I say Ju? Or I say Hushiko? <laughs> so we are playing our Reality Plus against Hushiko Shiro. Mm, first time Hushiko today. Third time Anak. Time already started. Let's have a look at our opening hand. We have two predictives. The Mausolus is nice. A maze amusement is also okay. Best defense I don't like against Anox. I rather mulligan to be honest and look for a more aggressive opening. And that's much more aggressive. That seems fine. Okay, we have this ice. Maybe, maybe for r and I don't want to lose against the Stargate. This on R&D. Rashida and turn new remote into predictive and they need to respect hard hitting. That sounds okay. We don't have the hard hitting. They don't know. Hoshiko don't know. So Hoshiko is pushing HQ here. Seeing the spin doctor. Bringing down the spin doctor. That's, that's a lot of credits. And clicking for money here. So the Rashida's gonna fire if we draw into a hard hitting news, it would be beautiful. Technically we have the hard hitting news. We could go for it, but I'm just guessing. Hmm. We would need the consulting visit, which would eat up a lot of our money. We could just open up with the price egg Rashida, another predictive. Oh, we can just easily play the government subsidy for money. That's even better. Now we will hit with uh, hard hitting news. Maybe again. I rather set up the remote a little bit. I'm getting money into a new remote, and we slam this into server two. Looks scary. We still have the possibility for the hard hitting news next turn with the consulting. Any reses? No, no, we don't, we won't res. Thanks for asking. No, thank you. Um, okay. So we use the price egg, bam, and we're gonna draw two cards. Oh, we treasure Apoc. Nice. Okay, it's Apoc deck. Good to know. Good to know. Still has the tag. That's good. We could draw free, gain free. I like that play. We could hard hitting now. Hard hitting now and maybe ditch something. I think we have the monies. This cost us six credits and we need to boost. Hmm. Our opponent has the money, we could go Prysec HQ, new remote, or just steal the money, just steal the money and slam this on, or maybe the funhouse on HQ. Ah, this is another Apoc play, mm, I think we need to go hefty into aggro here, because we won't survive the Apox, let's say thinking. So we have another Rashida on a stick here. Bringing down in money always sounds good. This gives us a lot of breathing room. But we need to do this now. This costs quite some money for both of us, but we have the predictive. I think we will do it. We will go for the hard hitting and boost by, boost by five. That's all the monies. We could also just boost by four. Now we're gonna boost by five or by six. Should we boost by six? So yeah, that's that's the safe tax and we can get two credits back. And we're gonna discard, I think the Bologna and the best defense. So there's five tax. Not enough to remove all the tax. We have a Rashida, we open up with a predictive. Ah, uh, no, we didn't find the boom. Ah, too bad. It's 
slam this into a new remote and we play the government subsidy. Government subsidy, what should be this card? Hmm. Discarding the IP block, which is not too good against Toshiko. Sounds okay. Still one tag left. Last Rashida fires up here. I think we need the price X to protect from the upcoming um, from the upcoming Apoc, but we can prepare for the Apoc this into a new remote and we slam this into server 4. We have enough money. So I think we're gonna ditch the hedge for as much as, as it hurts me, but yeah. Keep on being tagged, so we have a Bellona here. We could go for the Bellona just to get it out of hand, but we will lose a lot of tempo with this. Hmm. Server 4 double advance, I know that's not our plan. I don't know what to do with the Bellona. I don't want to overextend because there's a big possibility there is another Apoc coming up here. Both turnpikes can just be tanked through without any breaker. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Then we have one Bellona already in archives. Yeah, let's try it. Let's slam this into server one and go double advance. I really don't want to score it, but that's better than nothing. Oh, I think we... Should we trash this one? Or should we just... Um, keep on going this into... Server 4? Should we just score? She's back in money. Hmm. I think we just gonna score that one and we're gonna pitch the fun house. And an archives here. I'm stealing the Bellona, I'm guessing. Taking for credits here. We could go for the maze amusements in server 4. Maybe go for the price sec on R&D. Price sec R&D and play the two economics and bring down a lot of credits. This will slow the runner down at least. It's on R&D and steal 8 credits. We still have two more spin doctors left. Drawing two options here, overdrawing for a lot of breakers, I suppose. There is a Botolus on the turnpike. Mm, that's okay. Let's draw up here, that's good. Let's slam both into server 4. And we can reshuffle. Maybe a hard hitting in an economic. Rana is quite down on money here. Could also about slamming the ping on HQ and not raising the turnpike. Mushing away here. Dirty laundry archives. Gonna rest the spin. Oh, that's good. Let's reshuffle both economics. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, to stop the apoc, we're gonna trash this one. The mouse loss on HQ. Steal some more money and slam another hard hitting. That's nice, uh, but we're gonna need to boost quite a lot. Should we draw two cards? Chances of drawing into a boom is not too bad. Didn't find a boom, but we have a spin doctor. That's also something. Six credits left. We're moving. Still in boom range here. Give us the boom. We're gonna try to look out for the boom. 
<laughs> we still didn't find it. What? Why? Okay. No money up. Yeah, let's force force at least some 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 breakers out. Uh, that's nothing to really force a breakout because you can always just um, trace through this with Hoshikoshiro, obviously. Too bad. Oh, she she keeps on being tagged. Ooh. Did we lose the boom? No. I think we don't shuffle yet, we just... Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm sorry. And we're gonna... Boom. GG. Whoa, oh, I was a little bit scared. But for real, that was really lucky. That top deck <laughs> where we see the economic <laughs> that we just reshuffled was really lucky. And we haven't seen a single re-education all game long. Oh, look at that. Wow. Okay, I will host the re-game. Host the uh, the regame, regame, regame sounds rematch, but it's not a yeah. Okay, you know what I mean. Okay, new game. I forgot what table it was. Table, something like nineteen. Have to check it. We are on table pairings. Oh no, we are table fifteen. Mm, cool. 15. I'm gonna play the runner. And I think we need to play Aza again. <laughs> we already had such a bad game against Aza. Oh, this time we have a lot more money. I like this a lot. So we're gonna keep it. And we have something against the drafter. We have something to bravado to face check early on like this. We instantly bravado server one and see what will happen. It's only a vanilla, all right. And then we're gonna check HQ. Let's see what we are facing here. It's not too much for us. We're gonna poke R and D. Rashida, we're gonna bring this one down and we slam a rook trading. Another Rashida. No, yeah, at least I think we have at least the time to trigger the rogue, tra rogue trading once. So there's another other trigger. It's an RD. Oh, that's a lot of ice. We can money up, install book halter, run server 2. That's an okay plan. Hmm, perfect install here. Drafter is so scary, wow. Drafter is the scariest ice. It's a ganked! Cool! <laughs> um, no, we just gonna pay for again. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> so cool, ganked. Yeah. Double install into fully up. Double fully up? Wow. Whew. Crazy. Should we check server 2? Maybe there's another ganked. Let's go rock trading into sure gamble into run server 2. If this is another gank, that's not too bad. Okay, it's a spin been getting popped to shuffle a ganked and another ganked. I uh, know we're just gonna... Uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> what, what is that game? <laughs> I really need to draw up. We really need to concentrate and setting up a little bit. And another fully operation. Wow! Where's this one coming from? This was reshuffled just before. Oh, but we have a boomerang. 
we can contest server one. That seems like um, a push, an obvious push here. So gonna boomerang that one and server two. What a crazy game! <laughs> what the fuck is that? Okay, choose this Hagen. So that means it has trash one program, the anti run and enter run. Use this to the trash one program doesn't matter. That's a surprise include. That is really a surprise include. Okay, that was an obvious deal. We need to draw up here. Oh, that's an overload cool. Obelus is good. We don't have a way into any central yet. We don't know what the R&D ice is. And this might be another agenda. So we can just get money, Obelus run R&D. Money, Obelus run R&D. Okay. Magnet. We have seen Magnet quite a lot today. I think Magnet is quite good at the moment. It's good against the uh, Botolus, obviously. It's also nice against Angolo because Angolo needs to boost against it. Oh, there was a spin here, so this is no agenda. Removing the spin. So we need to think that everything from now on is a ganked. Ganked into the Loki is really scary. Mm, daily quest, okay. That means we have time. To draw up it's a class egg that's nice but we don't have so much money and there's too much barriers around here cool luminal that was a good score quite a furious game here we really need maybe a sneak door we have a boomerang it is not too much we could boomerang server one. Do we really care about the daily quest? Hmm. We need a barrier breaker. slam the boomerang on the Hagen here and run HQ and force force the rest here. I don't know how good it is because the daily quest is still ticking. I don't think we have the money to contest server 2 here. But what does Aza do with a lot of money? I don't know. We don't know too much about the um, agenda, agenda spread so far. Just boomerang this one, but I rather poke here. But the boomerang is stranded if this is a gatekeeper or another magnet or another Hagen or another vanilla or basically everything except another drafter. That's right thinking here. We have a lot of time in the round. Hmm. Let, let me consult my beer. Also draw once more. I'm not sure what we want to draw in two, but we could use real money, but we could also use a lot of splash draw. We could install the classic and click for two credits. That's super slow and everything, but all the bankrolls and stuff won't help us. If we can't access and the possibilities of drawing us a sneak door is rather high. I think that's an okay plan. Okay, there's a sneak door. And we even have the credit kiting for it. So what could server one be? A oh, jeez. Another upgrade. I don't know if you want to take care of the daily quest or if we just gonna ignore it. We have absolutely no idea what is going on here. 
I like that play to be honest. We could we could boomerang. Oh, that's everything is so clumsy. Hmm. We could bankroll, run archives, install the sneak door, make a sneak door run, and then we are prepared for the next few rounds. Uh, next few turns to at least check HQ. I think that's not the worst one. And we're gonna credit kiting the sneak door and sneak dooring into HQ. Wash around. Okay. We take that one. Do we want to keep Bravado or Dogland Pass? I like the Dogland Pass a lot more. There's a possibility there will be ice slammed on archives, so we're gonna keep the Dogland Pass, but still. We want the double access, the double money, the double draw. It's only double Nico. Okay, we can live with Nico. Hopefully, Aza is not drawing into ice here. And even if Aza is drawing, we're gonna boomerang it. So, boomerang, Dockland Pass, and run archives. Um, the sneak door run. So, this is one, two, three clicks. We could also just bravado server one. We could also bravado server one later on and check first what's happening here. So one, two, and uh, let's make a run here. Fairchild two. That's bad. Hmm. I think we can suffer brain damage. Ring. And let the subs fire, we can get the brain damage. <laughs> okay, thrashing the counter surveillance. Oh, another rush around. Oh, oh, and a ganked. Nice. So, Sneak to Beta changed the attacked server into HQ for all game purposes. Thus, the eyes encountered is from HQ. Thank you. Ganked trigger. Okay. We're gonna draw up Amina Rook Train Dirty Laundry. I think the Dirty Laundry is the worst here. We don't have an open server to attack. I'm gonna reshuffle the boomerangle. We need money. We really need money. Should we draw again? Let's draw again. Ah, another book halter is not helping too much. So a lot of money is coming in. Nine credit drip per turn. Okay, drawing obviously into an agenda to slam into server two. Yes. Okay, I think that is the gang there. We could run archives, click through two of the subs. Or maybe find a way into the server. Loki for the moment is kinda bad. You're right, thinking. There was a lot of draw. We next turn will be Yeah, we need to get ready to attack the server here. Which means we need to get our breakers ready. So if next turn there will be a score and even more draws. I think one of those is the other ganked. I think we just gonna money up. And Bravado maybe? Vanilla? Just get some money and just the Bravado. Some money up here. This might be a uh, Vitruvia score now. Or maybe just preparing the server. 70 cards left. I really don't want to click through this. We could hard install the Amina, click the rogue trading, and run. 
Not that it would matter that the Corb would lose one, but we could break all three subs with three credits. For me that sounds a lot more... Uh, a lot more efficient. Okay, icing up more here. Slamming a lot of stuff around. I think we will go for this. Manigam. Do we care? I don't think so. Preemptive. Okay, we have classic credit kiting. Ah, now we draw the credit kiting. But we could ditch the sure gamble and use this to get even more draws. Could also poke R and D once. Cost us two more two two credits. What are we looking for? Technically we looking for a breaker. But we still gonna run here. Okay, there's a spinny. Removing and reshuffling here. Accessing an answer. But we're gonna trash this one and use the credit kiting to install the second class act. Okay, we still don't have find our barrier breaker, but maybe the counter surveillance is... Okay, there is a score now. That's nice. Can we somehow fire the counter surveillance? I think we are lacking money. Okay, thinking. Okay, thinking. So I don't think we're gonna contest server 2. We could try our luck on R&D. We could counter surveillance. We need 6 for 6 tags and 2 to break the magnet. Which means if we pop the bankroll, we will have eight, which is nearly credit perfect. We need one for the counter surveillance. So click for a credit, install. Click for a credit, install counter surveillance. Click for a credit. Install. Pop the money. Run R and D. No, I think we don't. One, two, or oh, brainstorm. Three, four, five, six. What? Wow. Yeah, let's check HQ. Um, yeah, HQ. Answer, H4. What don't we need? We don't need two maglas. We don't need two book halters. And I think the embezzle doesn't help too much. server okay so we got six points from this one wow, but this was really i really enjoyed it thank you geot this were really fun games <laughs> i really had a blast here oh wow so many crazy things but uh, thank you everybody for joining me and we have one last round left see you there bye bye